years in a row, the Browns remained unconquerable in the All-America Conference, winning four consecutive championships. With the title game of 1949, the league passed out of existence, and the Browns moved into the National Football League, along with two other members of the All-America Conference. Would the Browns continue on top against new opposition? Now, just two days before the 1949 AAFC Championship game, a game the Browns would win 21-7 over the 49ers to claim their fourth straight titles, the Browns found out they'd be headed to the NFL in 1950. They were one of three teams that would make the move from the AAFC to the NFL, joining San Francisco and Baltimore, while three other teams folded, and another one, the Dons, they merged with the Rams to collaborate with this merger that had been a long time coming between the AAFC and the NFL. In their very first game, uh, they beat the stuffing out of the Eagles 35 to 10 in their first NFL game. They planted their flag in the NFL right off the bat. 20 seconds to play now remain. Time for one more play with the Browns' reputation of being the best in football hinging on the outcome. Rose's field goal try was successful, and the Browns had entered another championship this one, a cherished conquest in the National Football League. Now in hindsight, that's one of many championships the Browns have won, but it's even more impressive when you consider the 49ers and Colts, when they made the jump to the NFL, it wasn't so easy for them. The 49ers went three and nine, the Colts went one and 11. Meanwhile, Cleveland just kept on dominating and rolling into the 50s, whether it was AAFC or the NFL, the Browns were just a dominant franchise and they kept going that way moving.